We'll start with the Mustard R30, size 16. This should be tied on an 18 to a 22, but uh, we'll give it a go. I think uh, if I went any smaller, you wouldn't be able to see anything. And the camera would be in my way. So I'll just attach a bit of tying thread. And we'll go back to about halfway there. Remove that. And we want to uh, have a little piece of tying thread in reserve here. We're going to use this in a short while. Then uh, what we need is some synthetic tail fibbits. So we need three of these. And these need to be quite long. So place these diagonally because they'll pull over when you tighten up onto top of the hook shank. And we'll tie these in. Back. There we are, that's good. We can remove these like so. Then just using your thumb, push these tails up to separate them. If I turn it that way, you may be able to see better. There we are. I just want to go up here a little ways. There are our tails separated. So now we take that little piece of tying thread. We go behind our hanging bobbin onto the hook. And we bring this up in between the tails like this. We don't tighten it yet. We make a couple of turns of tying thread and then we can pull these to the they'll adjust the tail to how we would like it and then we can trim these off and we can go back and we have our nicely splayed tail and these won't fall or collapse so what we want to do now is I'm going to spin our tying thread is we want to build up this body a little so it gets kind of a short fat taper Now, a lot of people have problems tying these flies, mainly because they're small. But if you take your time, it uh, it's not that difficult. It's got more difficult for me over the years because of my eyes. So there we are. That's as far as we've come there. Then we need two moose hairs, one brown, one black. Try and choose fine tapered ones and then we'll trim off the ends and make sure that they're the same length at the butt ends otherwise you'll find di difficulty in winding them so we'll tie in these two moose hairs and go back to the tail base and then back up It's a little too long, I'll just trim that off. There we are. And we'll take get that out of the way. Our hairs, keep them parallel. Don't worry too much about the tail. That'll reset itself. So we go up here. And wind the two hairs together. Up over the body. If you do this correctly you'll get a nice segmentation as you can see. And 
And then I have to go back and just reinforce. I need it a little thicker and longer, just so they don't slide off when I make the next turn. There we are. I can tie these off. And remove them. Just reposition my tail. Good. Then we go back just into the beginning of the abdomen and we take a tiny dot of mahogany super fine dubbing and I just put this at the rear of the thorax and we need a little length of antron, white antron body yarn Go and do here, catch that in. And we just tie this in with a simple figure of eight. Then we need a little more antron. Super fine dubbing. Split the wing up. And we just go figure of eight. over the thorax come forward finish, move your tine thread and then we can trim off the wings. This is best done to the end so you can get them the right length. And there we are, there's the finished Trico spent spinner. And if you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.